A dry ice bomb is a felony. It can cause death or serious bodily injury. The way it works is if you put dry ice into a container and you seal that container, the dry ice is compressed carbon dioxide. It's always changing its form from a solid to a gas. That gas that is being created is trapped, pressure builds up, and it will ultimately rupture the tensile strength of the container. This three-day ordeal has culminated uh, in the arrest of an individual who uh, perpetrated the uh, placing of the dry ice bombs uh, in these two locations. As you know, it began Sunday night, October 13th at about 6.40 p.m. in Terminal 2 in the men's restroom. Uh, the following night, we had uh, more devices on the tarmac. The suspect is now uh, sitting in jail, as the chief did predict, uh, with $1 million bail. The dry ice uh, is readily um, used, or it's used frequently at the airport. Uh, all of the catering services that service airlines, uh, some of them will use dry ice to pack um, different foodstuffs in. Kids have been milled in dry ice bombs for, uh, uh, for years. Um, but it is not a prank, and it's going to be dealt with uh, very seriously.